Hey everyone, this is a quick demo on ISO 2022 financial messaging platform under the XTC payments ecosystem. So this demo showcases how uh, ISO 2022 message can be sent and received between different entities. Well, this case, the entities can be a bank, FI or a corporate who wants to send and receive the uh, ISO 2022 messages between them and optionally thus uh, instant settlement with the collaterals so this demo will be in two parts the first part will be sending and receiving the iso 2022 messages between the entities and the next part i will be showcasing you how optionally an instant settlement can be done with the help of collateral like xtc tokens or fxt stable coins or cgo or any tokens on the network so this example, we have entity A and entity B, and this, you can see the balance of uh, entity A in terms of XDC, and this is the big code of entity A. And entity B, this is the balance, and this is the big code. So the first case, so let's take an example of sending and receiving the messages between the entities. So this case, entity B wants to send a message to entity A. So what we do here is to paste the big code of entity A and choose ISO 2022 payload type. So this platform supports, uh, yeah, this is one of the important things. This app platform supports all the types of ISO messages uh, out there, ISO 2022 messages. So, um, but this example we have just taken pack 008 and pack 009 which is the clearing and settlement uh, messages and uh, this also has a utility for you to quickly generate a packs message with a random numbers so that it creates a unique hash on the blockchain so you click on send messages has been sent you try to send one more message generate and it creates a random number so it's not uh, the messages should be unique so that the hashes will also be unique. So we can see the message has been acknowledged by entity A and it's committed. And all of this is happening in real time. So you can see it's just taking few seconds for all the operations to be completed. But let me explain what happens underneath is when entity B sends to entity A. Uh, the entity A listens for the messages, the incoming messages, and once it receives the messages, uh, like any number of messages, it bulks them, wraps them, and it rolls up and creates a proof. Similar to like uh, the, the roll-up mechanisms in the blockchain. So it creates a roll-up of the messages and it creates a proof. And also the next step is creating a proof of the hash and put it on XTC blockchain for immutability and verification. So you can see it has been committed and it has been approved. So first step is acknowledgement by the entities and then the message has been committed onto the blockchain and then it is approved finally. So which means entity A received the message from entity B. So it happened just in a matter of like 10 to 15 seconds and these messages can be well then passed and stored in any respective databases for uh, further purpose. So this is the first use, I mean, the case I wanted to show you sending uh, the ISO 2022 message. So the next scenario would be optionally settlement of uh, the collaterals with XTC tokens. So we have entity A and entity B. So let's go to entity B and try to send it again. So it has 3140 XTC tokens. So this is going to be entity A, the receiver is going to be entity A again, the collateral and five XTC tokens. You can just, we can note this number 3140. So sending a message and let's send one more. Five. So I would expect this to turn into 3130 and here it should be 1123. So let's see how much time does it take. And so the message is already committed. So which means it has been already detected. The message has been committed on blockchain. So this case, when we are sending the collateral, 
when entity B sends the collateral, it, it's being locked up in an escrow smart contract. And once upon the approval from entity A and both the party agrees, then the settlement happens. So you can see it's already, it's 1123. XTC tokens has been increased by 10 in number. And even you can see this happen within a like few seconds. So, uh, well, it's, it, it's just like within five to 10 seconds. And as the block confirmation time of XTC network is very low and it has a good throughput. So we can, uh, we are able to achieve the transaction finality within a few seconds. So this is a couple of uh, um, use cases of this particular platform. And this platform can be easily integrated with any of the existing systems, with any of the um, like banking uh, systems or ERP systems out there, because the deployment of these uh, is so simple. So any, any of these uh, entities wants to host the platform. So uh, it is completely uh, getting dockerized and it's just uh, spawning a Docker instance in um, Docker instance, and you have the UI up and running, and then you can start sending the message. Um, so yeah, this is the demo for today. And if you are interested to explore further on the platform or anything with regards to XTC payments, feel free to contact us. And hope to see you in the next demo.